you know what? I haven't done any trailer reactions for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves because it just didn't look like my bag, baby. Now, everyone is raving about it. It's had preview screenings. It's tracking amazingly. People are saying this is the big surprise of the year. I have seen the previous trailers when I've gone to the cinema. I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm not really feeling this film. The cast look pretty damn stellar. I'm gonna edit this next bit now so it looks like I'm remembering all the cast in the films and all their names. It'll be flawless. You've got Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Reggae Jean Page. Is he gonna be the next James Bond? Justice Smith, Sophia Lillis, and then Hugh Grant, I think playing the bad guy. Hamming it up as the bad guy, if I remember from the other trailers. I mean, really, what's not to like? This is all on me. But who am I? The final trailer came out this afternoon. We're going to take a look right now. But before we do, I know I haven't really given you a reason to do so yet. But please click like on this video. It really helps out the channel. But without any further ado, come join me now for the final trailer, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Good evening. Hmm. Forget everything you think you know. What? <laughs> Everyone is raving about uh, that's one of those rabbit. trailers. There we go. It's the kind of epic fun you've been waiting for. Protect it with your very life. I will. Hold this. <laughs> None of us can save our lives. Gone the way we know. I did think you'd serve longer. You got an early release? Good behavior. Yeah, behaving good. It charms its way into Chris your Chris Pines. Oh, God, good, man. You. Try it. The most Chris Pine, a Chris Pine performance has <laughs> been in a long time. <laughs> Just because that sentence is symmetrical doesn't make it not nonsense. A crowd pleaser that actually pleases. It's a gift for every one of you. All right, take me down. This is absurdly high. It's not what we discussed. It's gonna be fun. It's the best movie of the year. Anything you want to add? I'm good. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, only in theaters, March 31st. Does look good, doesn't it? The script is super slick. The humor is just kind of spot on. It just, even that little, I mean, I know it's a trailer and it's cut to flow in a particular way, but it just, the beats are there. They're hitting the marks, they're hitting the beats. Chris Pine, possibly the best Chris, just seems perfect in that role there. It looks like a good family visit to the cinema. It's coming out, I think there's previews even this Sunday, and then it opens properly uh, next week. So a week before Super Mario Brothers, I think it's gonna do some big business. It does just look like it's a lot of fun. It's not taking itself too seriously. Even Hugh Grant as like the villain, just very silly. It's going to be fun. I think young kids are going to enjoy it. You've got all the big monsters there. I think I'm sure I read some reviews where they were saying some of them were very kind of Ray Harryhausen based and kind of homages to that era of uh, filmmaking and monsters. If that's the case, I'm very excited for that. I did see a photo today as well, perhaps from a previous trailer that I didn't see before, where they'd got the characters from the cartoon series in live action just in the background in the scene which I thought was a nice touch. The cartoon series really is the only connection I have uh, to the IP. I don't think I ever played the game as a kid or an adult. I know my daughter was into it with her friends at one point but I never really played it, never took the time out. I think there's going to be a lot of people very excited for this film. The annoying thing is with these final trailers I was worried, I saw it was only a minute long and it's that thing, they do it a lot now these days. Like once preview screenings or reviews are out, the final trailer isn't really giving you too much new. It's just lots of headlines floating in between the footage and the footage is cut around the headlines and whatever. But and they, those sort of trailers kind of annoy me. That being said, it was super slick. It was super fun. Kind of looking forward to it now. I think I probably will go to the cinema to watch it not being interested in any of the previous trailers and just seeing them when they came on before I went to go and watch another film, seeing that minute long trailer there. <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm so, so fickle. I'm curious, what did you think? Let me know, leave comments down below. Is this something you're looking forward to? Been on your radar for a long time? Or is it a case just like me? You're kind of shrugging a bit, but now slowly getting convinced. 
do let me know, let your voices be heard. And while you're there, please do me a big favour, help out the channel, press like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you can, that would be really appreciated. It's a small channel, I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers. At time of recording, I'm about 40 people away, be really helpful. It means nothing really at the end of the day, does it? It's still a very small number, but it would mean the world to me. So if you want to tap subscribe, keep up to date with all the new videos that will be coming up. Thank you. But until next time, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that little trailer there. That little, little trailer there. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.